So I uh, created all the tool paths in Mastercam and I've imported all the tool paths into Starcam which is a layout program and lets you organize all your tool paths in layers and it also helps show you where the cutter is going to go and uh, so it's less likely to mess something up. So <clears throat> here's all my layers. Top finish, top outline, uh, edges, the edges, the back, back outline, back finish, back rough, the pocket down here. So I turn out, there's that pocket right there. And uh, <clears throat> also I, once I imported them in here, I could see where to drill the, the holes to hold the board down. So they're on the brown layer here, holes. And I drilled those through the blank and also then moved the blank and drilled them through the table and I bolt the blank to the table. So um, <clears throat> you can turn the layers on and off here. So I'll just show you the back, the back outline. There's the back finish. That's the back rough. And that's the back finish. Turn off the rough. So you can select what you want to cut or cut the whole thing, but sometimes it's good just to select a little bit. Anyway, so that's the uh, star cam, and it makes it a lot easier to cut a, a complex thing like this without uh, blindly loading G-code and, and hoping the G-code is not going to gouge into your part or have a, a height too low. So I'm cutting the guitar in sections a bit at a time to make so I can uh, control the cut a little better. So I'm going to cut this section here now and this section here included. That way it won't be jumping back and forth between these two. We'll just do one or do the other. Okay, so then we just go route selected, output, done. And go over to the star CMC and go run. Okay, so now I'm going to select a roughing pass, so it's on layer, uh, this layer, so I'll turn that layer on, and uh, I'm going to view it in 3D here. Um, there it is there. The reverse toolpath later, it's on this dark green. And route it all, route uh, the selection.
make a reference hole in your project and um, <clears throat> so I actually shut the machine off at night I park it in the reference hole and the hole is at 0 in the X and 1 in the Y so it had to be there because 0 is 0 is about here so <clears throat> I just finished its job and it, it, I told it to go back to 0 comma 1 and exactly never lost any steps so if you uh, leave your machine parked in its reference hole when you turn the power on, you turn it back on in the morning, then set that number back to 0, 1, then you go right from there. And I touched the Z to the top of the work before I shut it off, and I wrote down what the Z was at the top of the work. Then when I turned it back on in the morning, I just brought the Z over, brought it down to the top of the work with a piece of paper, and um, I'll show you. And uh, so I'll put the, the, the Z feed in slow and I'll come down here and um, use a piece of paper here. Just move the paper and move it with my camera hand here. Oh, there, I can't move the paper up a tiny bit. And then go over to the screen and I go set new Z position and then I'll set that to what it's 1.2 inches I could type 1.2 <clears throat> and that would uh, set the Z to continue cutting the same height as it did last the day before now I'm gonna cut this shoulder here I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up so I'm gonna I'm first of all I'm gonna bring the machine down and I'm gonna find the top of that <laughs> with the tool and then I'm going to set the depth of the contour exactly to that height so I'm just gonna there okay so that's I'm going to cut it right there so on the screen it says the depth here is 0.594 so here's my contour here right there. Now I'm going to set the depth of that 3D modify set depth I'm going to set it to 0 0.594 0 0.594 so that's it's going to cut exactly where my cutter is on that height okay I'm just going to check it with the properties F6 and it says the depth is by setting 0.594 close so I'm going to route that piece, right, object right there cross my fingers too and then okay so I've changed the cutter to be a to be a flat cutter and so it's going to cut at 0.594 that way you double check it because in Mastercam I could have made a mistake or the contour may not have been exactly as it seems So I've got a square edge on that now. But that's just one way you can um, double check your depth and set it to what it is. So I just kept increasing the Z depth until I finally cut it out and there it is. She's done. Just um, brought it right down till uh, cutting about 1.3 inches deep there. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> The, uh, the wood was uh, donated to me by uh, one of my customers in Toronto, Bose Guitars, Noble Bose sent it to me, and uh, he also uses a Larkin to cut all, all his guitars, but uh, so he, he book matched, or he glued up a set of mahogany top for me here, it's, it's book matched mahogany, but uh, one of the things about a Firebird is it's not symmetrical it's bigger on one side than it is on the other this this side is not, uh, the center this is wider than it is on this side so my book match isn't in the middle because I used up the whole board and the center line where I flip it is the center of the guitar but not the center of the wood because it's bigger on one side than the other so unfortunately it ended up the book matches off a bit but anyway live and learn there she is there <laughs>